Hey Booktube, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to be doing the... I think it's just called the spoiler tag. Um, it is called the spoiler tag. <clears throat> um, now this was created by Gunpowder Fiction and Plot, and I will put them down below. When I first read it, I didn't understand what it meant. And so he's like, ah, the 5th of November. And I'm like, ah, I get it. I get it now. Um, so, <clears throat> there are um, eight questions here. So, let's get cracking. Um, what do you consider a spoiler? I consider anything a spoiler. Um, it's funny because I just watched um, Steve's video on this, and Steve's like, nothing can spoil anything. And I'm like, anything can spoil a book. Like, telling me something that I'm not going to read in the book to me as a spoiler and I know that is um, a little ridiculous but that's why um, I read the way I read I think where like if I read a book by an author and I like it then instead of reading anything else about anything I'll just keep reading that author's books until I don't like them anymore. And, um, then I just go that way, you know, instead of like reading stuff about, it's so funny that this tag even came up because in the last like two or three weeks, I've done quite a few videos where I talked about spoilers and dust jacket spoilers and, um, reading introductions, and uh, I'm sure there's questions like that in here. Um, so the next question is, does the genre you're reading impact what you consider to be a spoiler? No. If you tell me something that I'm going to read, that spoils that bit for me. Even if it's little, like, if it's like, oh yeah, um, in the book, you know, this chick, she wears, like, blue shoes. Now I'm always going to picture her in blue shoes. And when I get to the point and the writer's like, oh, and she's got blue shoes on, I'm going to go, knew it. Like, it completely ruins it for me. It's like that episode of um, IT Crowd when they're going to, which I'm going to spoil for you now, um, where... They want to watch the new Quentin Tarantino zombie movie. And um, he doesn't want to talk to anybody because he doesn't want to hear anything about it. Um, and so Roy goes through all this stuff to make sure he doesn't hear anything about the movie and he's going to watch it. And he sits down with this dude to watch it. And then this guy is like, oh yeah, I heard that this movie, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh... Now I'm going to be looking for that the whole time. Like, I feel the exact same way. If you haven't seen what I'm talking about, you probably don't know. But if you have seen it, you're like, I get it. Um, all the best bits are in the trailer. Sometimes a synopsis can be too detailed. Do you research books prior to reading them, or do you go in blind? Blind, 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 blind. I try to go in as blind as possible. Um, and it's funny, too, because, like, I can't remember what book it was, but there was a book. Oh, when I was, I don't know, I was doing a video just very recently where I talked about that I don't read um, a book synopsis at all because um, when I do, it ends up giving sometimes more than half of the book away. I've even read a synopsis where 
it would say something like, like the back of a book would say, um, how far can these two get before they end up dead? And I'm like, is that telling me that they're going to end up dead? Like, is, did, that, did I just read that? And, and guess what? Sure as shit, they ended up dead. Yeah? Idiots. Um, so yeah, I don't read anything. I don't like it. Um, sometimes the introduction or translator's notes can spoil the ending, especially for classics. Has this ever happened to you? It just happened to me. Um, I was reading uh, Bruno Fisher's House of Flesh, and the introduction uh, ruined that book for me. Um, the introduction to Fires That Destroy by Harry Winnington ruined the book for me, ruined the ending. Well, it didn't ruin the ending. I, it did. Like, but it didn't say, like, the exact thing that happens, but it tells you what the outcome's going to be. Um, I don't know why people who write introductions to classics feel like they should do that. Like... I just don't understand it. It's like, I don't know. It's so annoying. It happens all the time. And um, we're doing uh, the read-along for Pulp Friction right now. And one of the people um, who is reading, I don't know if, I'm, if I should drop names. I don't know. Okay. One of the people reading the book didn't read the introduction and some of us were talking about how good the introduction was and she was like yeah um when i read dracula the introduction to dracula said don't read the introduction until after you've read the book um because if this is the first time you've read it um things will be spoiled and what have you and I'm like, that's really cool. But at, at the same time, it's like, if why don't you put that as an afterword? Like, I don't know. Like, this, it's funny because, like, these are, like, literary people, like publishers. They're supposed to be, like, the upper echelon of um, intelligence and... They do stupid fucking things like that. It's like, I don't get it. Name a time somebody spoiled a novel for you. It used to happen quite a bit, and then I just started yelling and screaming. Um, I had some people over who had never seen Twin Peaks one time. And um, there was this know-it-all dude there... And I don't even know why he showed up, to be honest. But so all these people were sitting there, and there we were going to watch the first season of Twin Peaks, like in a day. And um, as soon as it starts, he yells out who the killer is. And I grabbed him and threw him out the front door. And told him never to freaking come back. Like, that was like... Like, why would someone do that? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever spoiled a novel for somebody else? I hope not. I try really hard not to do that. Um, I look at it as a... Yesterday. What? Yesterday, video. Yeah. Oh. oh, wow. Guess what, everybody? <laughs> I just heard you saying, I hope not. And I'm like, well, you did. My kid just popped out to tell me that yesterday I spoiled uh, Masquerade Death. So, um. Because I haven't read it and you spoiled it for me. What, what happened at the end? You said that someone showed up and uh, the guy got mad. I don't remember if he was a prince, I think you said, or something like that. And then what happened? And he died because the person had the plague and then everyone died. And now you just spoiled Mask of Red Death for everyone. In your last video. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay. So yeah, I did spoil Mask of Red Death. 
within the last 24 hours. Um, so I guess that's a thing. Um, if spoilers ruin novels, are there some authors or genres you can't reread? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, because if it's something I really wanted to read and I really liked when I was reading it, because uh, it's the same thing, like if you saw a movie of a book and then read the book after you saw the movie, um, you could still like read the book and like, I, I don't know of anyone who's like, oh, I'm not going to read that book because I saw the movie and really enjoyed it. When reviewing, are you spoiler-free? Does this limit your ability to discuss? Well, I honestly thought I did pretty good about that. And um, then my kid with the memory of an elephant all of a sudden um, decides that uh, I ruined Masquerade Death. Um, so I am a guilty party. I feel awful. Um, I need to go do some Nathaniel Hawthorne crap right now. Um, but yeah, um, I hate spoilers. I don't want to give spoilers. So hopefully I've never spoiled anything for you guys um, besides the Masquerade Death. Now there's going to be comments like all these things I've ruined. Um, so shout out. Tell us about five channels you enjoy and tag them. Okay. I'm going to start tagging some people from March Mystery Madness because I think um, mysteries are the absolute worst when it comes to spoilers. Um, so let's see. Let's do um, Tim at World of Sleuths. Okay, Bookish Bryants, Tim, um, Lizzie Fay, Janelle at um, Too Fond of Books, Bookish Knitter. So there, those were five. Um, I was just going up the March Mystery Madness um, host chat. And anyone else from March Mystery Madness, go ahead and do this because this really, I think, um, plays a big part in what we are reading. Yeah, so I can't wait to see your guys' videos on that. And Too Fond of Books, you have uh, two tags now that I've tagged you in. So somebody needs to get cracking on making some videos. Okay, so I'll see you guys later.